Jack Lair here, uh, just doing a response to Maximum RD's post on whether backwards compatibility has importance to us in the next console cycle. Now, for me, uh, giving a brief history, as far as consoles go, the first console that I got, well, I technically a PC, but I had cartridges for it, and that's kind of how I rate consoles, was the the Commodore 64. I really didn't use it for much computing. Uh, I played games on it, and I played games on it, and I played games on it. That's really all I did. After that, got the Nintendo. Nintendo, Commodore, not compatible. From Nintendo to Super Nintendo, not compatible. Although, why didn't they? Anyways, that's for another time. From there, from the Super Nintendo, I actually moved on to the Saturn. Picked up a Sega Saturn while I was in the Army. Thought it was cool. Played it for a little bit. Got rid of it because I wanted to play uh, Final Fantasy. So I got it in anticipation for the next Final Fantasy. Played, you know, some games on it. And then, of course, Final Fantasy was released on the PlayStation. So I had to get one of those. And Sony's the one that did this in consoles. Sony started this with the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. Because when the PlayStation 2 came out after that, which I picked up after my PlayStation 1 died. And they said, whoa, your PlayStation 1 has died. We're so sorry. Hey, we've got this great new thing for you. We've got, you know what? It's, here's what it is. It's the PlayStation 2. But wait, it plays great games. It's got better sound. It's got a network capability. It's awesome. And you know all those games that you have? You know, Metal Gear Solid, uh, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, um, what were some of the other ones that I had? I don't even remember. Tomb Raider. Do you remember all those? sold. Then Nintendo came out and like, oh yeah, well, GameCube. Whatever. Xbox. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Then I got deep into Halo. Got an Xbox. Then I got tired of Halo. Got rid of the Xbox. Got a GameCube. Played Eternal Darkness. Oh, Eternal Darkness. Animal Crossing. And a few others. Loved it. Played it. Uh, Zelda, of course. Mario. Loved Mario Sunshine. And a whole host of others that were good, but it wasn't backwards compatible. Handhelds. Nintendo did backwards compatibility in handhelds. And then, once this whole generation washed out, I think I ended with the PS2 again and this is before I was collecting so I only had like one console at a time ended up with the PS2 for uh, Guitar Hero because it was the big thing then didn't want PlayStation 3 because by the time I started looking at it the models didn't play PS2 games looked at the games that were out for the PS3 yeah to the games that were, out, that were out for the 360 because the 360 played some of the Xbox games and Microsoft pretty much just gone what? no, new shiny thing forget that old thing, don't look at that anymore Nintendo was the one that went that backwards compatibility thing seems to be working pretty well on our handhelds let's give that a go and it did. And you know what? That's the one I bought. So apparently backwards compatibility does carry a lot of weight with me. And that's because I can, I don't want to have, like you guys have just seen me make a shelf of those 9 million things that I need to have. <laughs> and I need to figure out how to wire up and power and plug in to be able to play on one TV. So if I can combine two of those good. Now, what I'd really love, back 
backwards compatibility instead is if is if if and this is never going to happen but if they were to do something like steam where they say okay and sony's in a position where they might be able to pull this off kind of but because they already do it with ps1 games you buy a ps1 game you download it on the the ps3 you can play it there you can play it on the vita i don't have a vita because I've bought a PSP twice, and I've gotten rid of it both times. It just doesn't. 3DS, loving the 3DS. Really cool system. But back to backwards compatibility. If they were to simply say, okay, we have done it, we have gotten the, the rights for every game every game in the back library and you know what we're going to release release them all all the ps1 games are five dollars all the ps2 games are ten dollars boom all of them sold i i'm a collector yes but if i can get access to the games that there is no way i will ever be able to afford like for whatever reason and I know it's a rights thing, and I don't know why, but Earthbound. Whoever has the rights to that should figure out a way to put it on a modern system. Don't don't do anything to it. Just leave it alone. And put it on a modern system. Put it in a nice big package with some really cool collector stuff. Sell it for 80 bucks. And you know what? People will buy the damn thing. Why? Because it's either buy the cool collector's edition for 80 bucks or spend 100 and whatever it is going online for. And people will do it. But I don't know. I don't know why nobody. I don't know. Nobody seems to care. I would buy it. Then again, I would also buy if they put all the Legacy of King into it and everything. Backwards compatibility. Back to that. But no, if uh, if the Wii U is the one that's backwards compatible, if Nintendo is the one that's taken the reins from Sony for backwards compatibility, I'm sticking with them. Sorry, Microsoft. Sorry, Sony. Un unless you can you know, make my library continue that the 360 I got rid of the PS3 I still have I mainly use it for a handful of games Burnout Paradise I still play a game that I think it's a launch title it can't have came out that far afterwards but I played the crap out of that and Sony has done the weird thing of with PlayStation Plus to where, you know what, I don't have to buy games. And I think this might be a problem. Or or not, because I give them a little bit of money, and as opposed to where Microsoft, when I give them a little bit of money, they let me watch Netflix, and they let me play online, and they let me be called all kinds of horrible things over voice chat Sony gives me free games I got two rare games how crazy is that I've gotten more than that but the two that I'm talking about are Castlevania Chronicles and Castlevania Symphony of the Night that they just said no, here. Here. no, no, no. go ahead play that have fun Backwards compatibility. It's important to me. Because I want to play the games that I bought. And you know what? I don't have my PS1 hooked up right now. Because my PlayStation 2 plays PS1 games. So that's just one less thing that I have to deal with. And I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to have a, a PlayStation 1 next to a PlayStation 2 
next to a PlayStation 3, next to a PlayStation 4, next day to a PlayStation 5, next to a PlayStation 6. I don't want to do it. So it's very important to me. Thank you very much, uh, Maximum Marty, for the question. It's an amazing one. Got my wheels turning. Thank you to Big Daddy Darth for responding to it, which got me to do a response video. And thank you all for watching. And as always, play on.